Hello everybody, you're here with Rambo and this is Rambo's Tips and today I want to talk about the seven things I think Konami can do to improve 2017. Yes, I know it's not already here and yes, I know it is going to be the best game ever made. I'm absolutely convinced of it. The demo was fantastic. I'm really, really looking forward to it. However, there's a few things I think they can improve. A few of them can be done probably overnight with the right programmers. So let's get straight to it. Uh, number one, one thing I'd like to see is camera views. Uh, when you're playing in online, fr uh, online friendlies or online divisions, just give you the option to uh, change the view. As you can see in the video in the background that I'm showing is me playing the demo and I'm playing it on uh, fan view, which uh, I quite like sometimes. I'm just having a mess around really because it's only the demo, so I'm just having a, uh, a little look at different views. I don't see why you can't make it fully editable uh, you know, because I like fan view. Personally, I'd like fan view just a little bit closer, somewhere in between the default view and fan view. So hopefully, if you can sort that out for us, guys, why not sort it out? Uh, number two, this is, again, a really, really simple thing. Uh, I'm not talking about big things here. I'm not talking about game changes. I'm just talking about little things they can do to hopefully make it a little bit better for us. Uh, and one of them is, in 2016, you only had three preset saves. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am a twitchy like a motherfucker. I like to mix things up all the time. I'll go from a 352 to a 343 to a 442, Mike Bassett style. I will change my formation accordingly as I see fit during the game. And when you've only got three uh, saves, it, it does make it hard to do that. You're faffing about a lot. And why not have 10 saves? Why not be able to uh, name your saves so you can say, count, call one counter attacking and have it a. Uh, a 4-3-3 with uh, long pass and counter attacking or have one uh, high pressure possession you know where it's a 4-5-1 uh, with a high defensive line and, and where you can pressure I won't go into the tactics of it all too much but it's just why not have the option there to do 10 saves and why not have the option there to uh, rename them because it would be really easy to do and it's something that would make me a little bit happier and obviously you want to make me happy uh, right, number three, and I think this is something everyone will agree with because it's such a simple option. Again, it'll be really, really quick to implement, is a statistics against friends for online friendlies. So, for example, I've just played my friend Truck Stop today. We had a couple of tight games. I drew one, and the other game I put an absolute hiding on him. Now, I would like the ability to say we've played each other 100 times to know. So I can say to him, listen, Truck Stop, in the last 100 games, I've beat you 62 times. Belotti has scored 63 four goals whatever the statistics are why not make it that you can have a, a statistical uh, analysis of your games and friendlies it would be something i think would be really really interesting why not also have it that you could have a uh, friendly league uh, as well you know why not against your friends stick 10 of you in there uh, there's no time limit on it but you have to play everyone twice and have the stats there in the friendly lobby you know it's simple things that would make the game so much more enjoyable and uh, so much more user friendly and let's be honest it's not it's not hard you know you've made an amazing game it's just a few few little things uh, that I think could make it better another one and this one isn't such a big thing for me but it is a lot uh, a lot of people in the community have spoke to me about and it is random form option for online friendly um, obviously last season you didn't have the random form uh, it was just uh, all uh, live updates which is cool you know I'm easy with that um, but a lot of people in the community would like the option to turn on or off random form. So, for example, if you're playing somebody and they have an uh, edited team and they have Lewandowski up front, they haven't got him on a red every week because, let's be honest, it was taking the piss last season. People using Bale, Ronaldo, um, obviously Lewandowski, and, and going through red flags, smashing everyone up every week. Uh, something else. This is massively important for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's something I'd really, really like to see. And it is a filter for uh, strength of team for online divisions and online friendlies. My biggest complaint, and I think everybody's biggest complaint last season, was the fact that every single time you play an online divisions game, you're going to be playing against Bayern Munich or Real Madrid, sometimes Barcelona. Uh, and that's all well and good, but there's people like me who want to pick Everton or Southampton or Burnley. Do you know what I mean? And if you pick Burnley and some uh, guy comes up with Bayern Munich on the screen, you know, one, it's making people quit games because it's, it's no fun. Uh, two, it's taking the enjoyment out of the game. Three, it's stopping people from using other, other teams because 
th there's a big fear that if you do pick Burnley online, that you're going to come up against Bayern Munich. So then, it, then you start saying, ah, yeah, I better, I better pick another, I better pick a five-star team in case I get a five-star team. Why not just make it so simple? Give people the choice. You know, four and a half-star lobbies, four-star lobbies, five-star lobbies, three and a half-star lobbies. It'd be so easy to do. And listen, if people can't get a game in a three-star lobby, well, they'll have to go to the five-star lobby. You know, that's not a problem. But at least have the option there. And the same with the friendly lobbies. Why not have it? You know, a load of lobby set up. You already have a certain amount of servers there. Why not just have a server, four-star teams only, three-star team only servers? Uh, so people can, can use that. And also, when you're using your editor team, my uh, editor team are three and a half stars. You know, I'd like to be able to use that editor team against people who are going to pick Leicester or, you know, again, I don't want to use Burnley as another again. But yeah, why not fucking Burnley? Um, yeah, so please, 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 please sort out a filter for online division searches and friendlies. I will love you forever if you can do that for us. Also, uh, we're nearly done here. A few more. Uh, number six is pass assist. Uh, the pass assist is too high. Uh, you have it on PA1 and it's practically laser guided. You can see in that game now I'm playing on Superstar. I am losing, losing 1 0 in the game that I'm showing because I could have fucking filmed all day and got one where I was winning 2 0 on Superstar, but I couldn't be asked to do it, so I've just thrown that one on there. there. Uh, but you can see the thing is at half time I've got a pass accuracy of 89%. It's too high, guys. You need to lower it, chill it out a little bit, you know. If, if you're not even looking in the same direction as your player, the ball shouldn't go to that player's foot. Uh, simple as that. So, uh, we, we need to, PA1, uh, how it is now, is like a PA3. You know, we need to, we need to, come on, let's give us more control. Do you know what I mean? Let's start playing the game ourselves, not rely, relying on the AI and relying on the pass assist to do it all for us. Uh, number seven. Again, this is something that doesn't really bother me, but it's something I would love to see, and I think it would uh, bring people like me into playing more uh, my club, and it is more control over my club. I know last season it was this crazy thing with you have six agents or whatever, and you roll a ball and you get a player. I don't want to fucking do that. Honestly, I don't want to do that. I want a management game. That is what I want. I want to be able to pick my players. I want to be able to pick my formation. I want to have a budget. I want to be able to look in after my team. I want to shape the team to play in how I want to play them. I don't want to have a random manager and then have to play to how he plays with the players that some random ball gives me. It's fucking crazy, guys. I don't know. I would love to have been in the meeting when you decided, yeah, yeah, will we give them the players they want? No, no, fuck them. Give them any player. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Also, uh, again, last season, I didn't play much my club, but I heard it was just a minefield of fucking Robins and Ronaldos and Bales. And listen, that's all well and good. I'm not disputing the fact that some people want to play like that. And they should be able to. It should be choice. It should be freedom of choice. If these motherfuckers want to go and play with them players, let them play with them. You should have an overall squad rating. Your squad is a 92. You're playing the other geezers with 92 squads. You lot go and fucking spam each other to death. You're more than welcome to do that people like me we don't want to do that we want to play with average players and you know actually have technique and skill to win games as opposed to robin bale and ronaldo up front so that's the seven things that i would like to see uh hopefully and this is really important guys what i want you to do is i want you to comment in the comment section about what you would like i'd also like you to share this video as much as you can because if we get it seen enough times if we get it seen by the people at konami by adam batty then hopefully hopefully we can get some of these things implemented because this isn't about just whinging and you know because it's a great game i'm not going to lie it looks beautiful game but we can make this better we can make it better as a community uh, so like this video share this video comment on this video thank you very much and hopefully uh, we'll start seeing some of these things implemented thank you guys uh, subscribe and like